Oh, hi guys, you're just in time. Today I'm going to review on a classic cartoon called The Flintstones. So anyways, enjoy. Hi guys, this is Jonathan, the Disney fan here, and today I'm here to review on The Flintstones. It came in the year of 1960. So basically what the pl sh plot for the show is about, it's it's set on a, in a very funny version of the Stone Age. And has added features and technologies that resemble the mid-20th century suburban America. And it also deliberately resembles the sitcoms of the era with the caveman, Flintstone and the Rubbles family, getting in minor conflicts characteristics of modern life. And other animals are portrayed to coexist during the time of caveman, like saber tooth cats and woolly mammoths, and that's basically what the plot's about for the entire show. I'm sorry if I didn't announce the whole plot for this show, but what do I think about it? This is a great classic, guys. It honestly is a great Hanna-Barbera classic. I mean, words cannot describe how how awesome this show is. Let's talk about the animation first. First of all, the animation is drop dead gorgeous. Look at the animation in this show. It's so, it's so wonderful. Like this is probably one of the best animation ever from Hanna from a Hanna Barbera cartoon. This is what you call a great a great uh. Animation. Um, Hanna Barbera did such a great job with the animation. The animation looks absolutely perfect. It it also and it also stays true, and still lives up to its type, even now sixty years ago. It's so beautiful to look at, and it always had been. And now let's talk about the characters. We got Fred Flintstone, who's a great character, and he's very funny too. And we got Wilma, who's a great, who's also great, and she's the she's also the wife. She's a great wife, and she's married to Fred Flintstone and she makes a great wife and Fred Flintstone also makes a great husband she's she's such a wonderful person a wonderful and warm-hearted person we got Pebbles and Bam Bam who are very cute and Dino Dino's a great character and Betty and Barney Barney Rubble and Betty Rubble they're they're fantastic characters. All of the and all of the characters are just so likable. Like there are so many characters that are so likable, it's hard to describe how wonderful these persons are. And the episodes are very are uh, a true gem classic. Every time you look at the episodes, you're like Ah, I, I'm I'm having a good time with this show, and 
And the jokes are very funny too. Like there's lots of great jokes. It gives you a good laugh. I cannot believe this show had came out 60 years ago. And and it and it was the most financially successful and it was also the longest running network animated television series for three decades. That was bef before we got The Simpsons, before we had Spongebob Squarepants, we had this, The Flintstones. The Flintstones is a very true, genuine classic. The jokes, so yeah, the jokes are funny, the episodes are a true gem, the characters are likable, the animation is so so wonderful. Just everything about this Hanna-Barbera cartoon is a wonderful, true classic that I, I really recommend. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? You, you got to, you got to see that. You got to see that show. It's such a amazing Hanna-Barbera masterpiece. And yes, that was even before we had Disney's House of Mouse. We had this. There are also movies, a movie based on the cartoon, The Flintstones 1994, and The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. <clears throat> yeah. The Flintstones, the Flintstones from 1994 was a huge box office success, despite having negative reviews. But unlike, but unlike the sequel, The Flintstones and Viva Rock Vegas, the Flintstones and Viva Rock Vegas did terrible, sadly, and it was a box office bomb. Personally, I, I think I enjoy these two films, in my opinion. If you don't like these, I'm fine with your opinion. That's okay. I'm okay if if you don't like it, I'm okay with your opinion. That's fine. Personally, I think I like these two films. I think... Uh, I think they're f fun enough for me to watch. The Flintstones from 1994 and The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas in 2000. Those, the sequel will be on the movies that I like that everyone else hates on my future videos, upcoming videos. So yeah. Once again, The Flintstones is a true masterpiece that I truly recommend if you haven't seen it. Despite Despite the positives for this cartoon, is there anything negative I have to say about it? No, not really. I don't have anything negative. So for my final rating for The Flintstones, I'm going to give this show a... 7 out of 7. Outstanding Hanna-Barbera cartoon. And... That was my review on the Flintstones from 1960. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to me. This is Jonathan, the Disney fan here, signing off, and I'll see you guys later.